Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shay. Let's get started. In today's video, I will be talking about the different misconceptions that we people with locks have or people who don't have locks think that people with locks go through. So before we get anything started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like this makeup look, I recorded it. It's like a bronzy end of summer type look. I am in love with it. This is how I've been doing my makeup. Super easy, super quick. You guys will love it. First uh, misconception that people have about locks are that they're a lot of work. No, that they're not a lot of work. Like, they're, that's not a lot of upkeep. All you do is put locks in your hair and you keep it moving. This could be further from the truth y'all know y'all watching this video y'all got locks is your locks easy is like is it the easiest hairstyle out there i mean kind of but there's a lot of upkeep you gotta wash it you gotta maintain it you gotta make sure it smells good you gotta make sure you put in the right products in your hair a lot to go on don't sleep on people with locks we we got some work to do as well not as much as you with the curly wands and the wash and goes and all this other mumbo jumbo but we got some work as well so so don't sleep on us the second thing is and maybe you guys don't get this but here in new york a lot of people sit there and look at our hair and i was like oh can i touch your locks and move forward they think people with locks or dreads are peace and love and happy and go lucky and you can just come up to their hair and grab it like bit bit you almost got me to curse like don't touch people's hair no we don't like people touching our hair just like people with big afros just like people with super long hair they don't like their hair being touched yes we are peace and love and all that jazz but do not come up to us and just touch our locks especially without asking oh i don't know where your hands been i don't know what kind of juju energy you got bye third thing that people think about when it comes to folks with locks is that we all and i mean we all white black asian whoever got locks that we all listen to reggae music la 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 boom boom she day i and i got the hot girl today la 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 boom boom she la ah ah i'm going against what i was just saying i mean reggae music is bomb don't get me wrong <laughs> Vibes Cartel, Mavado, Jack Cure, all of them, you know, the music is good and ting and ting and ting. But that is not the only music we listen to. We like trap music. We like jazz. Some of us like soul. We, we like a lot of music. Don't think that just because we have locks, reggae music is like our number one thing. I know a lot of people who got locks who hate reggae music, to be completely honest. I am not one of those crazy people but i know a few of them so don't sleep on us don't like come on we're more multicultural you know what i'm saying <laughs> another one is that they assume that we have a deadline as to when we want or how long we want to keep our locks no boo boo do you have a deadline as to how long you want that weave to stay in? Like, leave me alone, bruh. Like, stop asking me to say, oh, how long are you gonna have your locks in? Are you gonna have it in for the rest of your life? Uh, I might have it in until tomorrow. I might have it in on my deathbed. I might have it in until none of your business. This one is like two in one. <laughs> and you guys know this. Everyone who sees people, or well, most of people who sees folks with dreadlocks or locks, thinks that we Rastafari. Hey, Selassie, I, Marcus, Gavi, you so and so and so. I just go to the meeting them and see the thing and thing and no we are not all rastafari we are not all vegan we some of us partake in the chicken thank you and yeah they just assume because of um way back in the way back how dreadlocks came from africa and before it was more 
so about the hairstyle in Egypt and whatnot and then it kind of transitioned into other cultures meaning Rastafarian where they believed in um, black power and all that stuff and they didn't eat partake in meat and they more focused on the health of the body like what they were putting in they smoked a lot of gan ga ganja which is another thing that people assume but well, hold on before we even get there because I know what y'all thinking before we even get there you know the whole history of it but to be honest now it has evolved into more than how it started so not everyone who has locks is Rastafari and not everybody who has locks is vegan some of us even like a fried egg with some cheese on top and so a splash of hot sauce you know, every everybody that I've met always asks me do I smoke the marijuana the ganja the green stuff the herb whatever it is that you call it they always assume that I smoke ganja and I mean they might be right <laughs> no I'm joking I'm joking I'm joking I'm or am I mind your business you all in my business I ain't gonna tell you yes or no either way I'm saying you, you don't make assumptions that just because a person has locks means that they smoke weed there's not the stereotype is crazy there's not a, a list that we have to partake in partake in just because we have locks it nowhere it says that oh now that you have locks <laughs> This is, you have to eat nothing but vegetables and fruits. You have to only shower with natural ingredients. Um, you have to smoke the weed. Uh, you have to go to, uh, um, one of the meetings that they, uh, they be having. They're like, no, stop it. I'm tired of people asking me that. I think they be trying to buy some from me, which would be a nice little side hustle. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. I hope this video was entertaining. I hope it was entertaining for my folks who do have locks because some of you guys are judgmental as well. Even though you have locks, you always think somebody doing something. Like, mind your business. You ain't doing it, so why you think I'm doing it? <laughs> I still love you, though. <laughs> Anyways, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button, like, comment and share let's get this conversation going if i left anything down you know what to do leave comments down below i love the conversation that we all are having the family is getting bigger i keep saying this but it is and i'm super excited about it it might not be the pace that for some of y'all but i'm happy with where we at thank you i'll see you later tiger lilies the camera's all the way over there and i gotta reach it Whatever. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles.